Randy, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunner so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. Ranvi, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. How do you feel? Settled at last. At home in my skin. With nothing urgent pushing me forward. A strange feeling. A part of me wishes that Sigurd were here. If only to see how far we have taken his original dream. Do not worry yourself over his absence. Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. Something only he can find. You're right. He's searching for what he desires most of all. And I have all I desire here beside me. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of hers since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? <laughs>